I just trailer hitched my E36. Look at this, y'all. I had to do something because I normally carry my mountain bike inside of my SUV, but where we go to mountain bike is, it's about a 40 minute drive and man, that gas ain't no joke, bro. So I got this E36 318. It's actually kind of like a daily slash track car. You can see the inside, guys. It's a fun little car. It don't have a whole lot of power. And that's what makes this project even more interesting. It's just a 1.8 liter engine in this thing, bro. Fun little car because we lighten it up. The car only weighs 2,500 pounds. And now I done stuck this trailer hitch on the back. Put this Kuat bike rack on it. And man, it pulls that bike perfectly. But it's kind of funny because the bike looks bigger than the car. <laughs> so guys look here i'm gonna actually take y'all through the process of how i put this hitch on my e36 but i'm gonna put a trailer hitch on it because i need to tow those mountain bikes right there to my mountain biking trail and i don't want to keep taking the big suv that drinks all the gas so we're gonna see it's kind of an experiment guys i got with me right here this kurt trailer hitch and i can tell you i've already put it up against the trunk pan that holds the spare tire. You gotta remember, these are unibody construction cars, guys. We ain't got a frame, so that's what it's going to. And I'm not real certain it's gonna work, but we're about to find out. I've already marked my holes by basically placing this up, lining it up, taking a marker, marking those holes. Did the same thing on the bottom. And now we're about to start drilling and just see what happens, guys. Okay guys, I've decided to go ahead and use these holes that I just drilled. We could just use it as a template. So all I'm gonna do is put my hitch back up here. Looks like those match up pretty good. I'm gonna put bolts in here. Go ahead and take my 14 mil nuts. Hopefully y'all can see that. I'm gonna go inside. Pretty dark in here, so hopefully this video comes out clear. I feel like these holes came out pretty nice, guys. Take a look at this. So again, I just pretty much used the hitch itself as a template. Once I made these holes here, we just went ahead and put the bolts in, tightened it up real tight. And even though it's only got two bolts, it's actually pretty sturdy already. And then we just used that as a template, guys. Mm -hmm. And just took my drill and put it right in the holes of that template I got. Drill right through. Okay guys, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our block that was supplied with the package. We're gonna line that up on those two holes right there. And then we're gonna take our washers and we're gonna put them right there. And then we're going to just take our bolts and start dropping them in.
Now next, we're gonna go up underneath the car, go ahead and take our nuts and tighten that down. Let's go ahead and take our 14 millimeter, snug them all down. Okay guys, next we're gonna use the stiffener bar. And I'm just gonna use this as a template to drill these two holes. Next, I'm gonna remove these two nuts so that we can add the stiffener plate. Well, it can only fit on one way. Just learn that. Next, we're gonna use this stiffener plate as a template to drill these two holes. Take our bolts, come in through the back side, poke them through. Next, we're going to take our nuts, and all these bolts and all these nuts are the exact same size, so you don't have to worry about trying to figure out which is which. So far, everything feels nice and stiff. Let's go in, take our final bolts, strap those right in. Now we're gonna go up underneath and snug it down. Now guys, what I'm gonna do once I'm done with all this, I'm gonna dismantle it. I'm gonna grab uh, some type of sealant and I'm gonna put cylinder around it so no fumes can get through. So I know I just put this whole thing together, but I like to put it together, take out one bolt at a time, put some sealant around it, snug everything right back down. Here's the completed work, guys. Here are the bolts. Nuts are underneath. Okay. And I've already snugged down these two. I snugged down my template. And now I'm going to go up underneath and put nuts on these two, snug them down. Let's do it. She's tight, guys. Everything looks nice and snug. I don't see any gaps in it. So far, it looks good. Now we've got to hook something up to it and just see if it works.